Did you know that fantasy can alter your perception of reality? Many people are moved by fantasy and it shapes their perception of reality. Some people start to believe fantasy rather than reality and that's called spirits of delusion and confusion. Did you know that the environment around you and what you see, experience, and the traditions of your culture shape your perception of reality? That's why kids, when they see certain shows on TV or play certain video games, they start to mimic the things that they see. You see, fantasy, when observed, is the observable reality. If you were hooked up in the matrix and you could be whoever you wanted to be, separate from physical reality, you could touch, smell, feel, and feel pain, if someone tortured you in that simulation, you'd still feel the pain and perceive it as your reality. If someone, let's say, raped you in that virtual world, you'd still experience the raping. This relates to the doctrine of see, hear, and speak no evil. If you believe morality is relative, that proliferates the doctrine of doing whatever you want. If you perceive and believe that we are animals and that morality does not come from God, then you're apt to do the worst kinds of things imaginable just because you want to and it feels good. A lot of people justify their lack of morality by believing being kind is just a mutually symbiotic relationship and familial nepotism is built into your genetics to proliferate the species. They seriously don't believe God is the one who created us to be loving creatures in which to love him through loving one another. The disconnect between cultures is where we get a varying degree of cultural beliefs and the disconnect between us and God has proliferated ungodly belief systems. A lot of people throw away God's love and morality, operating in lawlessness and anarchy to get what they want. They're breaking the rules of engagement in love and abusing them. They manipulate others to give them what they want, with no reciprocation. But if others acted upon that ungodly person's reasoning and the same rules of engagement just like the rules of engagement in war, they wouldn't like it. This ungodly person may think raping and killing is okay, but if someone raped and killed them, they'd be mad about it. There's instances where parents kept children away from the outside world and made them believe a lie. There's cults, which operate in secrecy and do wicked things. There are many people who believe lies, which differ from outside observable reality, the kind you can touch, see, feel, and interact with, which God made, and it shows, because the devil has isolated us into the twisted reality he wants.